There's something about our ancient trees that inspires wonder. They are rich in history and culture. Ancient trees and the historic wood pasture, parkland, orchards and hedgerows they inhabit are some of the most exciting and important habitats for wildlife. But they are under threat. There are over 2,000 species of fungi, invertebrates, bats, lichen and moss that share a mutually beneficial relationship with trees. In this series of short films, we talk briefly about the ecology of trees and wood pasture and some of the species that share their life cycle. We offer general advice on how to manage this special habitat with these species in mind and pointers to further information and expert advice. We hope that these films will improve understanding and that you will join with us in managing this habitat for the benefit of these species. By working together, we can ensure that they'll be around for future generations. Look at these views here, these are fungi. Fungi are fascinating organisms, more closely related to animals than plants. There are around 120,000 species and they're found absolutely everywhere but we've barely scratched the surface of understanding their diversity. Most fungi consume dead and decaying organic matter, and they can also digest substances that few other organisms can. They're also a food source and a habitat for a huge range of other organisms. Fungi are also crucial in the development of new soil, which sustains and supports life on land. As they consume dead organic matter, they secrete a sticky substance that binds together material to create new soil at a microscopic level. Mycorrhizal fungi live in these really close associations with plants. Their hyphae are connected to plant roots at a cellular level, forming these enormous underground networks. In these networks, fungi obtain sugars from the plants, and the plants get nutrients and water from the fungi. This enables the plants to be better tolerant of droughts and diseases, and it also improves the stability and the health of the soil. Some fungi were once considered to be quite a threat, but we now know they're vital in our ecosystems. To manage habitats for fungi, we need to stop the use of fungicides and the overuse of fertilisers, which overload the soil with nutrients and cause competition in plants. We need to retain as much dead and decaying wood in living trees to provide a vital habitat for fungi and other species. If dead wood has fallen, do not remove it, if at all possible. We also need to think about protecting the soil. Cultivation, compaction and waterlogging, particularly close to trees, damages mycorrhizal fungi and tree roots.